Due to COVID-19 protocols, we could not send the kids. At the time, Liberia was not giving vaccination to under 15. And one of the requirements were to be fully vaccinated. So we could not send the kids to Cameroon. And this was communicated to the relevant bodies and even to the public on our Facebook page. So um, in view of that, Orange Liberia and Orange Group decided that, you know, a promise is a promise. So we arranged another trip for the kids. And from July 1 to the 4th, the kids will be in Casablanca, Morocco, for a tournament with other winning teams from other Orange countries. The kids will also be given the opportunity to watch one of the women Afghan football that is going to be happening in Casablanca during the time. So I will just give you a quick overview of the trip and what will be happening before and while we are there. So we leave from here on July 1. We get to Morocco, we'll have dinner. It's going to be a mixture of fun and some football challenge. Y'all ready for the challenge? Y'all yeah. been practicing? Yeah. I can't watch your movie. So they will be playing a tournament, a beach soccer tournament. They will also engage in the waste collection, similar thing we, um, that happened during the Afghan game. Where, because Orange Sponsors Change is about both football and the environment. So from there, they will be meeting with some football stakeholders on that side. They will get to speak with them. They will get to meet the women footballers and everything. And there will be a lot of dinners, lunching, lunches, and other fun activities for the kids. So before we leave Orange Liberia, thanks to our CEO and to our marketing director, each of the nine players are going to be given this step as well. We're giving you <laughs> We're giving you this smartphone because we want you to stay in touch with your family and friends back home. So we provide them this and then we will give them data while they are in Casablanca to be able to stay in touch. <laughs> so um, for other information, on June 30th, we will need you guys back for the COVID-19 test. So now you don't have to be fascinated, but you have to be COVID free. Right? So on June 30, and Orange Library is covering the cost for that. We are covering the cost for everything. <laughs> so we will do the test. On July 1, um, post, post me, on July, the night before we travel, because it's an early flight, very early, by five something, we'll have to assemble at a particular point. So we'll have to be here at the office, and then our boss will take us from here to take us to the airport. So we expect the case to be here in full. And then you will be expected to travel with your boots. Um, they will only provide you with jerseys, you know. So travel with your boots and travel with other color clothes, okay? And as part of the preparation, we want the team to practice, because we want to come back victorious. So, We'll have to plan a practice session, which I'll be there. Y'all remember my face from the last time? Yes, yes. Good. I think I'll cut my hair. So, my hair will cut that, huh? Yeah. Yeah? yeah? OK. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll have to do a little practice session amongst ourselves, you know, do some videos, share it, so that they can see us and know that we are preparing to beat them. Okay, so um, Orange Liberia is taking full cost control with accommodation, feeding, flat tickets, COVID tests, back and forth. I know you guys are excited. We are excited too to be giving you this first hand experience. And we can wait. I'm going to be one of your chaperones, so you'll see me on the trip along with. <laughs> Hello, with a uh, member, executive member of LFA, Mr. Tikle Monkone, and your coach, Mr. Dave Fofana. So we're going to be four adults with you on the trip. 
and we look forward to an amazing one. I never knew these children had 640 <laughs> until when Angel was speaking. <laughs> what? I want to talk to two of you before I call the other people. Two persons. Who? Yeah, yeah. Who's the captain? Yes, two, two, two. You and who? I'm coming to the telephone microphone. What? <laughs> and I need another microphone because I need people to talk. What is your name? Uh -huh. What is your name? My name is Wallace G. Bro. Wallace? Yes. Bro. What do you do on the team? Uh, I serve as a captain in time of when I serve as a captain in terms like whenever we play a game, I dare to motivate my players, or whenever we die, I dare to encourage them. When you're small male, you motivate them? Yeah. Chief motivator? Okay. <laughs> okay. Get the, the microphone to. No, I'll come back to you. What's your name? My name is Lee Aris Yoga. Lee Aris Yoga. Lee, what do you do on the team? Well, I'm an attacker, and the money is based on skills whenever we are in an attacking position. Oh, small team will come to you! <laughs> oh, wow! You ready? You ready for the attack? Yes. Yeah, okay. Come on, yeah, well, that English you're speaking, when you come here, you must speak more than now. Because right now, you're making us ever. Are we in Zigo now? Yes. Yes, they definitely tell you, are we in Zigo? Well, you come here, you talk different things, will be bow. Now, tell me, how do you feel? I know, have you traveled out of Liberia before? No. This will be your first experience. Yes, yes. How do you feel? I know you have not gone, but just the thought of it, you were leaving from here to go to Casablanca, Morocco. And you know Morocco is actually known for good football. You know a lot of the uh, Afghan games have been played there as well. So tell me, how well, do you feel, the thought of it? Well, I feel very much excited you seeing excited. myself being having this great opportunity okay. going to Casablanca, which is my first time. Okay. And I also want to tell the Orange Company things. He will wait for me, oh, he will. See, thank you, you are continue. Yeah, yeah let's clap for him, man. We got a little act for you. Continue, yes, I want to tell Orange things for this great opportunity because when they, when when they first start their room, we hear that the winner will be going to Cameroon. Our coaches, our other staffs, they begin to encourage us because it was our, it, it is our first time and seeing people going in competition where it's very tough and seeing us emerge as a winner, we are very much excited and for the trip that is coming up, we want to tell the Orange things for the trip. Okay. Yeah, and we pray that we'll bring the cup to Orange uh -huh. and they can go inside the cup. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, Mike, you the microphone like you were talking, talking pretty. <laughs> you better ready, better small now. Better small. <laughs> okay, so have you left Liberia before? Or this will be your first time? Uh, this is my first time to have this such an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And I want to be grateful to the entire staff of Nation Academy because. It is through that effort, through that support, that we have reached this fight. Because if it wasn't going to be them that are suppressing people to have for us having this opportunity, even though it was going to delay, but one way or other, I also want to be grateful to the entire family of Orange for giving us such an opportunity to experience uh, how also they look and for bringing us together through sports. Because in every in every country, uh, for a country to be developed, you have to start from the what the underground because you cannot build a house and start from the roof. You have to start from the foundation in order to see the betterment of a country. So I want to say thank you for having, for giving all this such uh, opportunity for us to go get our experience. I have one last question for both of you. One last question. Do you think years from now? The way we are going, Liberia is going to bring World Cup home. Yeah, again. I say Africa Cup on this show. I say World Cup. Yes. Uh, again, only happy if only like for what Orange is starting now, 
like focusing on our grab our grassroots football mm -hmm. because in everything or uh, in every developed country you have to start from what the grassroots or you have to start from the bottom before you go at the top mm -hmm. because if you if you can be able to develop us at this step of stage mm -hmm. definitely it will reach up there we will know the basic step of football because starting from this level and reaching up there we already know some basic things about football so i i guess okay. you clap for the What grade are you? I'm um, in the temporary. Okay. Pass the microphone on, oh, my man. You're relative. <laughs> 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 you, the same question as a man. You're relative, bro. The way we are heading now, you think what are we able to win? Yes. What makes you think so? Well, like for what my colleague just said, the way it started at the roof now, mm -hmm. as we are coming up with the youth, mm -hmm. We'll, have, we'll be more excited to play up there tomorrow. We'll see ourselves being on level that we have not yet reached. We'll reach there and we'll be more excited to play because it's just the way some of the football players that their name are ringing around here. It that's the way they start their board. For us, our people who are hearing us now, they didn't start that way. So now we are seeing ourselves starting from the group where people teach us up the very, the very basis of the league. I think Labro will be better and we ourselves will. We will improve and make things work up. And to what class are you? Work. What class are you? I'm in the 10th grade. 10th grade. Oh. Oh. So, so 10th grade. Are they? Put your clap for the children. Okay, yeah. Right now, we're going to leave with your two. You're going to hold the microphone from me today. We're not going to try it. Okay. So, we need to hear from the executive director of Nation One. And that's Melton Yoko. Let's invite him to the podium just to hear from him. You're welcome. Thank you. Nation One. We are who we are. Hold on, we are not talking. Nation One. We are who we are. We are who we are because we always like to prove to people who we are. Uh, it is an opportunity to be here. Uh, we are very excited. We are grateful to the Almighty God first, and we are also grateful to the government of Liberia for giving you people the opportunity to operate in Liberia, and we are grateful to the Orange family. It is a dream come true for Nation One Academy. Our CEO is not here today, but on behalf of the CEO, Mr. Otawuta, the vision bearer who is not in Liberia, uh, we are excited to see what is happening. Some time ago, we were a little, little bit discouraged when we heard that the trade was not possible, but he kept telling us, keep focus. Anything that God plan, no one can change it. If it's a plan for us to travel, we will stay travel. Um, Nation One is doing great things in Liberia. Every year we have opportunity to send kids to the U.S. and other country, and we believe with partnership with Orange, we can do more. We are struggling to do these things because we want to see the difference in Liberia. It's an individual trying to help us every day to make sure this thing work. We can see Liberians like that who are sacrificing. We will need help to buttress that effort. As I speak to you, there are other kids who are preparing. Hopefully by August, they might be going to the States through educational program. But I'm grateful to Orish until I don't know how to express how thankful I am. But I think I have to be more grateful to my officials, especially my administrative assistant, Mr. Emmanuel Sion. Emmanuel Sion is the secret behind our strength. A nation one academy. Uh, he's the one who take out the dormitory, at the same time serve at gardens at the dormitory. So with all the training you see in these guys, he is the one who is implementing that into them. Um, the head coach, Mr. Ara Fufana, uh, the trainer James, who is not here today. Also Augusta Dimle, the deputy coach. I want to say thank you. You people are the one who make us successful today. My drivers, I want to say thank you. And we are grateful. Nation wants to support us, the board. And on behalf of Mr. Otawita, we want to say thank you again. We want to say thank you to the Liberal Football Association. Mr. Musa Raji, the man called the best football president ever in the history of the Republic of Liberia. I say thank you, but we would love for Orange to also keep being by our side so that we can do better for Liberia. Thank you. When you talk about taking kids from here to you know, to other countries. 
like Angel said, it's an all expense paid trip. All. You leave from here to the airport, you pay one cent. You get on the flight, no one cent for you. You get there when you arrive, you gotta eat dinner. One cent not coming from your pocket. You sleep in air condition. You watch TV. You wake up, breakfast. You go to the feed. I mean, everything is being paid for. They got some, you know, they got some, on the cornbread, they can have a sad piece. Sad piece, you can go swim. But you will not, you will not go swim with all somebody watching you. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You won't go kick small. God, those y'all supposed to be doing it. Y'all full of y'all. They won't go see. Y'all won't see. Hey, you know what I mean? So when you come back, who can tell me the name of this home? Eh? Yeah. Spark. What kind of spark? Like, just you want this spark here? Yeah? What kind of spark there? Okay. This is a smartphone. This is meant to say that what we are giving you, you can get it from nowhere else. I'm, I mean, it's a brag for us. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> this is why you will do all you can to remain with this company. All your family members will remain with this by fire by force. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Exactly. You. Uh -huh. The ED is still talking. About. But you know, there's somebody who's a company angel. Orange Library is sending two staff to this, I mean to Casablanca. For those of you who have not been there, it's a nice place as well. It's a really nice place. And you will enjoy. I'm telling you, you will enjoy. But we have somebody who's coming along with you, and it's only fair that you see the two faces that are going to be accompanying you, right? Abere, please come. Let's put our hands together for you. So you have a male and you have a female from Orange who will be accompanying you. I thought you'd still be clapping me. Give me a so hello everybody. My name is Alberic, but you can call me Albi. Albi. Because I guess that it's more easy for for everyone. So don't worry, because I heard that most of you don't know outside Liberia, you will discover the world. That's right. Yes. Thanks, Orange Liberia. You will discover at least one country, because I, uh, due to the plane, to the, to the, to the flight plane, will have to stop in some other countries. Be ready to have fun. You will discover of uh, people from other country in Morocco, because we, you are the winner of Liberia, but we have the winners of uh, Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone, Ivory Coast, Morocco. Yeah. Yes. So try to improve your French by this time. <laughs> okay. uh, come with your swimwear. Hmm. Yes, because we will be in a nice hotel. And for sure, you have a room to to, to go to the swimming pool yeah. and to chill. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, so we are happy. Yes. So I will be with uh, I will be uh, with along with Angel. So be gentle with us, please. <laughs> You know, you know what? I was telling my friends, I said, by the time I come back from the trip, I will know what I want to have changed my mom or not. Oh, no. So by the time I'm going to be with that boy. Oh, no. Forget it, Angel. <laughs> so be ready to enjoy. And I. So, yes. Oh, OK, OK. So, and don't worry. You will have a free nice, internet. yes, free internet. <laughs> we, have, we are arranging everything for the for the wellness of everybody. So. Okay. Thank you. So, 
at least you are getting used to the people that will be with you. <laughs> um, you know, there, there's something about coaching. When you have a very good coach, anything is possible. Mm -hmm. No matter how difficult a match may be, when you have a very good coach, you can make it. So it's good to hear from the coach as well. We'd like to call on Dave Fofana, who is the coach of Nation One. Please come to the microphone. Nation One Academy is a great day for me to be. Nation One Academy gives you one more shot. Yeah. Give them two shots. Yeah, yeah. One grenade. Orange. Give orange one shot. Yeah. Give orange two shots. Yeah, yeah. Nation one academy. Yeah, yeah. It gives me for this thanks to my foundation, Nation One Academy, my CEO, my director, my manager who is present in his work, he's the backbone of the foundation. And let me also recognize the executive committee member in person of Mr. Tikla from LFA and also my boss, Mr. Mosul, who is not here today. And I, today we are champion because of the coach. A good year must always open an avenue for people to work. And I, my source is from a back room. And I guess it's from deputy. And because of Nimle. And I, my trainer is not here. We are here, let's schedule you when you schedule the Dowie's We are a beautiful family. When you get there, you know that indeed we are a family. I think you see our kids, our kids talking to me. They make it also saying that we are running a professional academy. Again, let me use this period to say it, uh, orange. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Uh, it is not our right, but what we did, when you put all into the tournament, we used the tournament to come all as the best in La Vigo. We did everything in our compound so that we could come as the best because this was our first tournament. And looking at us in the nation, when we came in, we were doing three things attitude, education, and circle. We said we're going to do everything that we were going to do so that like history, they will say, yes, you did something for Orange, and our new will be in Orange profile. So we say, thank you very much. But you guys did something, I broke that again now. But anyway, not bad. You give them real shades, you give them food. And you don't tell them what you say. But what is the English? And then we will talk about the English. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I don't know what to say. But one thing I will promise you that we're going to try to run on two flares. The first flare is Ladiri. We go to the Ugari. We are Ladiri. The second one is Orish. Orish family will promise you will represent you. And you will know that indeed we are an academy and a professional. Thank you very much. I just want to give God the glory. I listen to everybody. We want to be grateful to Orange, the LFA, but we are not grateful to God. It is God that gave us this feature today. And I love to be with them anytime, pray with along with them. So we want to give God the glory for everything. Thank you so much. Thank you. What I think I can say, we are. What do you get to do for you? We are. We are. They always want to shout. We are. Another one. We are. We are. A bigger one. We are. All of my. All of my. I love A, and we would like to hear a remark from him. Let's put our hands together. Well, thank you. Good afternoon, all. Uh, my name is Dick Lindsay Mokoni Jr. I'm an executive committee member of the Liberia Football Association. Uh, I'm grateful to Orange Liberia. I'm feeling the impact. Uh, the president of the Liberia Football Association is um, currently uh, in a press conference that coincided with this one. Interestingly, the Liberia U17 will be traveling to Austria tomorrow to take part in a tournament. So he's attending that conference. So, I mean, that's good news. So I'd just like to um, 
say a big thank you to Orange Liberia. We've actually seen the impact of Orange Liberia in all our aspects, especially sports, as the marketing uh, they said earlier. Um, this just portrays um, um, the Liberia Football Association in terms of grassroots development. Mm. It is a pride and joy to um, co um, Nation One Academy to represent Liberia at uh, Morocco Plaza Blanca in an all-nation tournament uh, organized by Irish Liberia. And uh, we are not just going there to partake or to have fun. I can promise you that indeed we are going to come back uh, making Irish Liberia proud. And the Liberia Football Association proud. The other thing is the governing body that regulates all football in Liberia. So obviously we are going to be there to represent our LFA and then represent Orange Liberia as a whole. Um, it's not about uh, fun. I overall enjoy seeing the soccer tournament. Uh, am I right? Uh, meaning we'll have to start practicing on the beach as well because I'm not too sure our kids can play the soccer. <laughs> but it's quite different from. Uh, so Go ahead. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, exactly. Exactly. Uh, in any case, we are ready for any challenge. Uh, yes, yeah. uh, I trust my boss. I'm trusting that I too am, am, am part of football, so I know what uh, I do. Right. I can promise you it's not all prayer and butter that we are going to do in Morocco. Mm -hmm. We are going to be on the tools. We are going to help the two workers from Orange. We are going to protect them. We are going to look at them through the influence uh, of all. Thank you. And we are going to Thank you again to Orange like you. If you did feel your impact, your many contributions you have brought to football, especially sponsoring the National League, the national team, they came the under 15, and we hope we go beyond that. Uh, we hope you take another um, adventure or so. So guys, last, thank you is not your right, it's a privilege to be representing Orange Liberia at uh, Morocco Class of Banga. I got up a few money uh, when I grew up in Morocco. Uh, my son just got up and said, Daddy, I want to go to Africa. Because I brought supposed to play to Africa. So it's a privilege that you're going to go to uh, Morocco. It's an adventure. It's a great experience that you will share in the future. And hopefully, you can also market yourself that tomorrow, the club team from Morocco will call you and tell me here that I want to go to So thank you for being honest that you have. It's a pleasure being here. Wow. Thank you so much. Executive committee member. Mega people's vision. Now what I'm talking, saying you will protect our orange lab star, you protect everything we in your club for the best. <laughs> okay. Who can tell me the money that has been used in Morocco? Any one of you. I'm talking about here. It's got Darham. Uh, yes, so you need to know these are things that you are going to learn. They're not dollars they're using there. You understand? And they're not dollars they're using there. They're not CFA they're using there. So all of this, when you come back, I will be right here with you for you to interview everybody. And you must learn new things. How the people greet, how they say hello, how they say thank you is an added knowledge to you. It's called exposure. That's what it's called. Because you travel somewhere, you need to know the stable food. What do they eat? These are things when you go back to school, you can also educate your colleagues, right? So I will be waiting on, trust me, oh. I will be waiting, I will interview each of you one by one by one in a secret interview. It will not be like the way you hear your friend who they will tell me your hmm? one oh, what a motivator. Mr. Motivator will be waiting for you. <laughs> so on that note, we'd like to say thank you so much for being there. Those of you who are viewing via um, social media and uh, listening via radio, we are taking the U15 team. Um, through Nation One Academy to Casablanca, Morocco. And this will be done on the 1st of July. I'm talking about just next yeah, two weeks. Next week. Okay, next week. So you see, it's all about orange. I'm so there. Thank you so much for being there. It's bye bye for now. <laughs>
Oh. Oh. <laughs>